Monica, he was the teacher in room 114, a popular and friendly teacher whose students tell us, and the school district now admits, crossed the line. There would be times where I'd be injured, so I had to stay on the bench, and he would, like, put his hand on my thigh. Alicia Stone is the former captain of San Francisco's John O'Connell High School girls soccer team. Just before graduating in May, she made one of the hardest decisions of her life. She reported Bob Gamino, her soccer coach, for sexual assault. It took her a whole school year to come forward. She says it started with verbal harassment in the fall. Like, oh, like you you look beautiful today or oh, like you, you know, you have a great body or whatever and it's just like, okay, like those aren't things that you normally say to a student. Months later, she says it turned physical. He like grabbed right under my breast on top of my rib cage, and you know, like out of all places, why would you grab there? Bob Gamino worked for San Francisco Public Schools for 23 years. The majority of that time was as a soccer coach and a PE teacher, and most recently as John O'Connell's athletic director. Students say his door was always open and that they thought of him as a father figure, making it that much more difficult to turn him in. When you know him for so long, like he builds up such a relationship with these girls and they feel like to the point where they feel like he's a family member and that you can't report your family member. You can't do that. You know, you feel really guilty. Another student who chose to remain anonymous reported Bob Gamino to the school in May. And he kind of just passed me and grabbed my but um, and then just walked away. And at first I thought it was an accident or I was kind of just in shock, but then it kind of sunk in that it wasn't. That's when the district put Gamino on administrative leave and launched an internal investigation. Documents from the district confirm 30 girls came forward reporting Gamino verbally or physically assaulted them that year. It had been known for so long that he'd been doing these types of things, and especially the women at the school knew, like, they were like, yeah, that's how he is. Gamino has a type of personality that, like, you know, girls should watch out for basically saying that like he came off as a perv. Students say Gamino worked to gain their trust, often developing a relationship with them and waiting a full year before ever taking action. It kind of like hurt my feelings more so that it was like not betrayed, but it was just like the trust. I was gonna say you trusted him. Yeah. When we first approached the San Francisco Unified School District about Gamino, we were told this wasn't any of our business. Even if you could tell me those things, again, things that are confidential personnel matters are not a matter of public record unless they are of concern. So we filed a public records request. Documents from the district's internal investigation show the school knew about Gamino's behavior two years ago and did nothing. Records show upperclassmen began to forewarn younger students about his conduct, and some female students indicated they'd stopped dressing for P.E. or foregone playing soccer in order to avoid Gamino. Students warned each other. Students were going out of their way to say, don't take his class. Students were going out of their way to protect each other. But what did adults do? Well, I think that what you're saying is something that concerns the district as well. In our second interview with the district after we obtained the documents, spokesperson Gentle Blythe said it was O'Connell's former principal, Mark Alvarado, who failed to take the appropriate steps. Documents reveal long before Alicia and her classmates came forward, Alvarado admonished Gamino for inappropriately touching two African American female students two years ago. The district says it didn't know about this because Alvarado didn't report Gamino's activity to the district, allowing Gamino to keep working at the school, often spending time alone with female students. Gamino denied the most serious allegations against him, however admitted making at least some of the inappropriate comments, acknowledging in hindsight he should have acted differently. Do you think given the fact that there's a history of this, that students knew about this and were warned about this, that the district and the teachers in that school did everything they could to protect these kids? Well, I think that in fact, we could have obviously uh, done more because this happened. Meanwhile, students say the district never encouraged them to talk to police. Were police involved? Um, not that I know of. Were you told to go to police? Mm, no, we weren't told to go to police. I, I don't. I didn't know what to do in this situation at all. Mr. Gamino voluntarily retired this summer, keeping his full health benefits and salary from the district. We stopped by his home multiple times, but he never came to the door. Mr. Gamino, could you come out and talk to us? 
The district has yet to reach out to parents or previous students at the school to inform them of this investigation. If he can get away with it, then who else can get away with it? I think the district does need to apologize and talk to students and teachers and say, hey, we're doing everything we can to prevent this from happening again. I did speak with Bob Gamino very briefly over the phone at the start of this investigation in which he told me he chose to retire. He did say he'd consider going back to coaching or teaching at some point. And because he hasn't been charged, there is no legal reason that he can't do that mm. at so, this Susie, time. What happened to Mark Alvarado, the principal who was accused of failing to report Mr. Gamino? So Mark Alvarado has been moved to Everett Middle School in response to his failure to report Gamino. We did reach out to him, but he never responded to our multiple requests. He still holds an administrative position, and failing to report the abuse of a student is a crime. But at this time, Alvarado is not facing any charges. Well, now that parents and other students know, we may hear a lot more about this. Yeah. We'll see. All right. Susie, thank you. Thanks, Susie.